Hey there cinephiles, today I'm going to do something a bit different than what I normally do, and that is to test if Regal Unlimited is truly unlimited. I'm doing this by going to the movie theater for the whole day, from the first showing that's available to the last showing. Speaking of which, my first showing is Babylon, which I will be seeing for a third time at 11.55, so time to go. But anyway, hey there cinephiles, I just wanted to say it on here because it felt weird doing a recording without saying it. Alright, so I had this idea of seeing how many movies I could see in a theater in one day. It's been with me for a couple of months, but then some bigger YouTuber decided to come out with a video with that exact idea. Either way, I pivoted to testing Regal Unlimited. Because, well, I and many of my friends have it, and I got most of them on it, so it felt like the right thing to do. Also, Regal is not a sponsor, I'm just usually a show for them. So, please, Regal, sponsor me. But anyway, I get my free small popcorn, which is one of the free things you can get, and a water, and get ready for my first movie of the day. As excited as I was to see Babylon for a third time, the promo of my nightmares comes back on screen. That's the only thing that AMC has better than Regal, the pre-showing promo. They get Nicole Kidman, and we get this. A man purse is called a satchel. You can't sit with us. So you're telling me there's a chance. But it's alright, this always brings my energy down before a movie so I can enjoy it more. But then my spirits rise again because the stars of Babylon show up on the screen and thank me for watching it in a packed theater. As the movie goes on, two of my friends, Martin and Alex, join me for the day at the movies. However, we have no time for hellos as we're already running late to see Puss in Boots The Last Wish, which is my second viewing of it, but they're first, so I gotta get them in the theater. And even though I was late, I had to make sure I got the sign on my way out too. But once we get out, we're starving, and with an hour until our next showing, we rush over to L House and then rush right back to the theater to see Avatar 2 in 4DX, Real D, 3D. Now, I can't even handle regular 3D, but I had to go big for the channel. Even though with Regal Unlimited, I still had to pay $10 for it. Just like with most of the premium screening formats, you do have to pay a little extra, so that's the only knock I have so far. But it's alright. I had no idea what to expect, but the trailers alone were already so intense. Safe to say the next three hours of my life were a wild ride. Now 40X can be fun, but my god it needs to be fine tuned. Those fans were so loud and obnoxious. But for this movie, my friend Joe Marco joined us for his first viewing of Avatar, and he enjoyed it. Once again, most of us were left hungry, and with another hour to our next showing, we decided to sit right in the front for Empire of Light. Not really, we just hung out there until 1040. But being there this early did mean that we got to see the great intro again. Martin loved it and was quoting it, as I... Well, I was contemplating why I was there. As Empire Light started, I realized we ended the day with the worst movie. I mean, even the people behind us left and made a mess. Finally done with our 13 hour day, I gotta say Regal Unlimited is, well, truly unlimited. So please sponsor us Regal, I love your service and I will continue to use it. Overall, it was a fun day with many interesting rewatches and one bad first watch. I was only able to see four movies this time, but let me know if I should try this challenge again with more movies. I give Regal Unlimited a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Safe to say I do recommend Regal Unlimited, but I don't recommend a full day at the theater. I mean, look at me at the end of the day. <laughs> this is me at the end of this. Uh, moral of the story, don't recommend. Um, but thank you guys for watching. As always, stay tuned for more Yeti Films content. Uh, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And uh, I'll watch you later. <laughs> I need to go home.